So we're going to start doing some uh, audio. Okay. All right. Uh, so we're going to turn, we're we're gonna turn things over. To... Oh, my gosh. This has never happened. <laughs> I want to march. I want to march. Hey, everybody, welcome to Munch Squad. It's a podcast inside a podcast. What a delight. Now, Griffin, why did you IP theft our brother? I IP thefted our brother because in the two hours preceding the show, Justin was unconscious for an hour and a half of it. And I thought I would sort of help you out with a munch squad. There, there is one pair of footprints tracked through an Arby's is where you carried me. <laughs> Here, where you There's stepped on all the roast beef. Um, so that was because there are horny people on the internet, my child. We can't say the word. All right, banned words for the half two of the show. Horny, boner, any variation of pepis, peepus. Beeper. Beeper is even off limits. So Taco Bell's done something. Returning Mun Squad favorite, Taco Bell. Well, this is a... <laughs> they're sort of... They're broadening the horizons of what Munch Squad can be. It's a collabo project with food favorite, Forever 21. <laughs> Press release. Taco Bell and Forever 21 are making wardrobes a whole lot saucier this fall. Oh, no! Excellent. Excellent. Taco Bell and Forever 21 will come together this October. I was an older one. Uh, this October to celebrate personal style and self-expression ahead of the launch of Taco Bell's first fashion collection collaboration. These two like-minded brands. What? <laughs> Accurate. Accurate. Toge- together. We both want to sell stuff. Together at the intersection of culture and innovation. <laughs> our joining. Welcome to our TED Talk. Our joining forces to make fall wardrobes a whole lot saucier. While they're at it, they'll help fans keep the heat up and the fun on in more ways than one. Unless these clothes are lined with hot sauce, yeah. there is only the one way that clothes keep you warm. By capturing the content that personifies, quote, forever Taco Bell, <laughs> you literally just described college. Uh, the essence of the preview event, fans can actively take part in the ultimate fashion after party. Uh, here's some quotes uh, from Marissa Thalberg, chief marketing officer at Taco Bell Corp., who has almost certainly been on the show before. Certainly. We often think of Taco Bell as the fast fashion of food. What? What could that possibly mean? You don't even think of Taco Bell as the fast food of food. (laughs) We often think of Taco Bell as the fast fashion of food, given how we continuously introduce innovative, limited edition products that everyone can enjoy. Uh, So when it came time... (laughs) Assuming they don't have IBS. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, So when it came time for our first ever retail collaboration, we knew our partner had to be the leader in actual fast fashion. Is that... Something? That's something. Uh, we've seen our fans get individually creative in expressing their love for Taco Bell through fashion. No, you haven't. You've seen sweatpants and more sweatpants. <laughs> That's it. And we believe this collection with Forever 21 is going to be everything they could expect from us in extending the Taco Bell lifestyle. Sad. Too fashion, original, affordable, creative, a little quirky, and definitely fun. So fun. 
I, can I jump back a little bit? I love that they say, we often think of Taco Bell as something. Like, okay. You can think about your own thing in whatever way you want. I Unless you can say, other people think about it. It ain't true. I have to read this next quote from Linda Chang, Forever 21 Vice President of Merchandising, who says in her first sentence, we are excited about this partnership with Taco Bell. <laughs> this is what you got in the fashion industry, right, Linda? It's maybe a bit of a one-sided relationship. <laughs> Forever 21, hell yeah, fast food fashion. That's nothing, but we're here for it. Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Listen, we're just trying to beat Amazon. Food, like fashion, is driven by trends and culture, I guess. <laughs> Merging fashion and food in this collection gives our customers a new way to experience both our brands. When was the last time food was driven by trends? I, the only time that food, Taco Bell, and fashion have combined is when you get meat on your pants from your Taco Bell accident. That said, I am excited to hear there's a way I can experience the Taco Bell brand without ingesting it. That is, <laughs> I'm excited of a new, that other avenue. Well, because you want to support them, I but support God, it, not but, through my mouth. Yeah, this is the one human body I have. Yeah. Uh, that's Excellent. it. I assume that their combination of sauce and clothing is sauce on clothing. No, it's like clothing that looks like sauce. It's very fun and very Spencer's Gifts. Why not Spencer's Gifts? That's your... Like, let, look in the deep, dark truth of Mara Taco Bell. Uh, all right, so we want to get to audience questions now? Yes, all right, please. audience questions... Are... <laughs> what? <laughs> I want too much. You know I was going to take care of you, Milwaukee. In, in, infirm, infirmed or no, you will munch. I'm we will so munch sorry. together. That was, this uh, comes uh, to us direct from Miami, is the dateline on this particular release. Burger King restaurants. Uniquely use fire to flame grill the Whopper sandwich. <laughs> also known as America's favorite burger register mark. <sighs> getting fired might not be fun. <laughs> but at Burger King restaurants, getting fired like the flame grill Whopper sandwich is always a good thing. Webster's Dictionary well, defines me, fire. We're now. going no, to burn you so bad with our hot grills. No, we're, going, we're going someplace with this. This is why Burger King restaurants will give a free Whopper sandwich to anyone who's been fired. <laughs> but there's a hook. You must publicly confess to getting canned on LinkedIn. That's right. What? Own your fire. <laughs> it no. says that. Own your fire? Own your fire, peasant. Do you want a free burger? Enjoy your free burger. Ruin <laughs> your career. Unemployed person. For one ninety-nine cent hamburger. So here's what you do with your life. <laughs> the one that you have. You remember you have the one life, right? With your life, you go to LinkedIn and post the following public message admitting you got no, fired. No, there's specific wording. Quote. I, imagine seeing this out of context. Like, okay, three years uh, in PR at Triple Point, and then right below that it says, I got fired. I want a free Whopper. Hashtag Whopper severance. <laughs> Wow. Those I, can't, I can't believe the founder of Google is applying for a job here. Seems overqualified. Let's check that link. To, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Before the, Google, they begged for a burger. If you post that, you're going to receive a personalized link to get registered and receive a F Whopper severance package in the mail, which comes with a... So here's the fucking thing, gang. You lose your job. And you got some time on your hands. And what you're going to do is post about getting fired on LinkedIn because you want a free hamburger. And then Burger King sends you a link to register for a thing where eventually they'll mail you a card for a free hamburger that you will get in the mail and be like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I've been gainfully employed for three years. Smash cut. 
door open slowly onto suburban home. Creep. It has been said. Hold no, up. I'm not let, ju- let Travis finish his smash cut. Okay. <laughs> smash cut. Honey, how was work? Well, I've got bad news <laughs> and I've got good news. <laughs> bad news is I got fired. We're, we've lost everything. We've lost our benefits and you know how we just bought the house? But good news, I've got dinner covered in six months. <laughs> for, for one of us. For me. <laughs> Not our three triplets. It has been said. It's that, a very sad story. It has been said that when one door closes, another one opens. <laughs> this, this promotion is here by the providence of God. <laughs> That's my favorite end of It's a Wonderful Life. Yeah. You've lost everything, George, but I brought you this coupon. In this case, it's a door to a delicious flame grilled Whopper sandwich. That's cool. All right, it's so anyway. a tiny door. It's a little door to a Whopper sandwich. So anyway, that's the thing. Travis, do you have a munch squad? Well, I wrote a sad lib. No, no he didn't. He didn't. He did, he did I not. did not. Yeah. I did not because even I don't enjoy them anymore. Okay. So you I'm could, so, Justin, I want to put out a formal apology. I'm sorry I stepped to the throne. No, I should no, have no, known. No, 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 no. It's all good. All right. Let's get lower lights on us and high, all the lights on them. 